Hey team, welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, I have a table called movies. You can see it has four columns. Let's write a function that returns a JSON object and I'm just gonna pass in its movie ID and I'm gonna return a couple other columns. So can you imagine I sent in 21 and it gets back shorty in 1995? Let's write a function that can do that. Let's begin, so we're gonna say uh, create or replace function fn function fetch movie and then we're gonna have one input parameter we're gonna say ID and that is a type integer. Now what is our return data type? Well I want to return a JSON object so I say returns don't forget the S and then JSON. Now we're going to say as a dollar and then at the very bottom we're going to say a dollar and then language is a PL PG SQL and then semicolon. Okay so that's our basic structure. Now we're going to declare a data table that can store the data temporarily. Now you don't have to do it this way. I'm just showing you more ways to do programming. So we're going to call this uh, movies and then data table. Now where's the data coming from? Well it's coming from the table called movies and then you say percent and then you can say row type. Now yeah, that's pretty cool. Now we're gonna say begin, and remember for every begin we have an end. So when this begins, what we're gonna do is, how are we gonna get the data out of this table for that one row? Well, we're just gonna do a simple select command. Now to populate this row type, well, we have to do something a little bit special in our select command. Let's do that. So we're gonna say uh, select, now what are my columns? So it's gonna be movie ID, and then we're gonna say movie name, the year released, and now we're gonna say, where does that come from? Well, it comes from the table called movies. Now it's the special part. How do I take it from here into this row right here called movies data table? Well, all we say is into movies data table, the same variable right here, control C, paste that there. And now how do we limit just one value, one row. Well, remember this ID up here? So what we're gonna say is where movie ID, this field equals this input parameter. Does that make sense? So this right here should get us one row. And then movies data table, if I find it, will be populated. Now all we have to do is return a JSON object. Now how do we build that? Well, there's many ways we could do it, but the easiest way I think is just return a function that says JSON build object. So say return, and the name of that function is JSON build object, and open, close, put a little semi there. And here we just have to build the key value pairs. So what is my first key? Well, that is going to be movie ID. Now, movie ID is the key. What is gonna be its value? You tell me, you got it. We're gonna take our data table and then we're gonna tell me what field is associated with that. All right, perfect, you got it. And then for our next key value field, we just say, okay, what is my key? Okay, the key is gonna be called movie name. And then what is my value? Uh, movie data table. Wow, you guys are smart, let's get it. Cutting and pasting, hopefully that doesn't bother you. And then our last one is this year released. Year released. And then what is the value? It's gonna be that same data table as this right here. And then it's the name of the column. Now this right here is the JSON object I'm gonna return. I could have just added one or I can add three. I can add as many as I want. I can even start making up fields, but uh, this is what I wanna return. So we have our begin, we have our end. We got dollar, dollar and uh, returns JSON. Okay, that's cool. Let's see if we can compile this for a blue star. Nice, we were able to do it. Now, how do we execute this function? So copy this function name down there and you can say select star from the name of our function and then we were looking for a movie 21 right and then execute this and guess what we got our JSON object uh, get shorty and there you have it if you have any questions or comments about this video please leave them below look forward to seeing you back in my next video